Yeah. Well, well, obviously, you know what game's coming up, right, against oh, yeah. KU. Oh, obviously, yeah. much improved team than, than past years. Mm -hmm. What are you seeing out of this team that uh, can maybe give you guys some problems or you guys can, can exploit for them, too? Yeah, uh, they're, they're, you know, the last couple of years, it hasn't been as, as a competitive, as much of a competitive game as, as it will be this year because, you know, give credit to them. Coach, Coach Leipold has, has built, you know, a culture there, you can tell, and they, they've bought in and, you know, they're, they're much improved from what they have been. And, um, you know, I'm excited because it's going to be a challenge and it's, man, it's going to be an electric atmosphere. And I know K-State Nation is going to, going to come out in full support and, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be, it's going to be electric. What's your analysis from your performance from last week? Uh, yeah, I, I, I feel like it was a good game overall um, for my, myself. And, you know, obviously any game that we win, I'm, I'm happy. Um, you know, obviously want, would want that pick back for sure. But, um, you know, I was, I was proud of our ability to come back from that and, and myself and, and give credit to my teammates. You know, they, they just kept telling me nothing changed. There was, you could tell nobody panicked and we just went right back out three plays, scored a touchdown. That was huge for us. Um, and, you know, winning in Morgantown's hard, so it was it was a big time win, a quality win against a, a good team that you know we knew, you know they were having some struggles, but they were going to give us our best shot, and they did. And um, you know, I'm just happy we were able to pull it off. How well, key is it to have a balanced attack offensively? It's big time, and uh, with the, with the dudes that we have, you know, up front, um, with Deuce between Ben, Malik, Phil, Cade, everybody that's that's making catches for me. Um, you know, it makes my job easy because, you know, they have to be so worried about Deuce and they're, they're worried about shutting down the run and opens up the pass game and then, you know, vice versa when they, you know, when they get, start getting worried about the pass and you can give it to Deuce and, you know, he's, he's pretty good at football if you guys haven't, haven't learned that yet. And, uh, he's, you know, just, it's, it's awesome to be able to play with those guys and, and, uh, yeah, it's been, it's been fun. Joe Roberts here, I'd say going back to that interception, after you looked at it, was the mistake trying to make that throw or how you made it? I would say just trying to make the throw. You know, I probably should have just pounded it on Phil looking back at it. Um, or, you know, if I'm going to get through my read and, and be that late with it. Because they were, they were good. You know, we didn't, you know, we thought they were going to be more of a zone drop team. And, and they uh, ended up matching us a little more uh, off the line of scrimmage. Um, and, you know, everybody was kind of matched. And at that point, you know, I should have just cut my losses and probably thrown it away or, or tried to tuck it down and run. But yeah, I tried making a play and uh, definitely want it back. But something to learn from for sure. Well, is this a team that's playing with swagger right now? I would, I would say so. I would say so. I, I, you know, that was something I was saying before the game was, man, play with that swagger. And and, and when, when we're when we're playing with that swagger, you can tell we're having fun, and you can tell we're, you know, how close we are as a unit. You know, and and you know, just watching the defense celebrate after a turnover, or watching, you know, us celebrate in the end zone after a touch. It's just, it's just fun. You know, and 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 when you can make this game fun, you know, a lot of good things are going to happen. With the reps you've gotten with the ones recently, yeah, is there any looks that you've gotten that have kind of mixed you up the last few games? No, I mean I wouldn't say uh, you know because just getting just getting reps with the ones in practice is 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 really not too much different because you know we run a lot of the same plays in practice just to you know kind of get reps at them just so everybody has has reps at the plays and um, you know and like like I've always said you know when you're the backup you want to <clears throat> you want to prepare like you're the starter. Um, so, you know, I would always like to say I was staying ready and, but, you know, it's definitely good to be able to be out there with the ones and, and, uh, and getting plays with them and, and just building that chemistry that I feel like we, we, we have between, you know, no matter who's out there at quarterback, I feel like we're going to have some really good chemistry just based on the work that we put in on the off season. Well, you played in this game now, this will be your third time, mm -hmm. um, playing in this game. You're an older guy, as strange as that might be for you. <laughs> But Weird. have you had a chance to talk with any of the of the new guys just about what this rivalry means? Yeah, I mean, in the in the past two years, you know, we always, uh, you know, you kind of hear from the Kansas guys a little bit that, um, you know, how much this rivalry means, and and the guys that grew up being K State fans and how much this rivalry means to them, you know, because coming in here as a freshman, I didn't know a whole lot about K State. I didn't, you know, I didn't really understand the rivalry as much. But you know, now that I've been here for two years. I know just how much it means to everybody in K State Nation and and for KU and and you know they're they're they got a shot this year they're they're you know a good team and they I feel like they feel like they have a shot um, but you know I feel really confident about us and, and how good we're playing right now and um, you know we know that you know everybody that's in this program knows how much this how much this game means and um, you know we try to say we're we're you know just playing it like any other game but you know there's a, there's a little something extra for sure with this one and uh, it's it's going to be fun I know it's it's going to be packed up there when your coach is kind of putting the 
package with the sixth offensive lineman that you guys mm -hmm. have kind of used? What's your reaction to that? I love it. I love it. I, I love watching, you know, Liney or Carver, whoever it is, come in and, and just, you know, it's just smash mouth football a little bit. It's old school, you know, and being able to finish the game with a couple of, you know, big time, you know, just pounding them. Uh, it was it was fun. It, it's cool. Uh, I, I really like that package.